We hear it a lot these days. Kids are not reading. Well, this morning we're shining a big, bright reading light on one high school librarian who's managed to boost circulation by over 40%. She's a bookworm behind a now global movement to get students to read woke. Here's this week's Elevating Atlanta. Well, good afternoon, Manor Creek High School. We are here today to recognize the Gwinnett County Public Schools. A surprise award bringing happy tears. At that point, I knew I had won because when I saw them, they had a flower and the plaque in their hand, and I just, I just started crying. Meadow Creek High School librarian Cicely Lewis winning Gwinnett's coveted Media Specialist of the Year. Her hubby, two kids, and students also in on it. When I looked at my students, that's when I kind of broke down. It just brought tears to my eyes. Less than two years ago, Mrs. Lewis launching a movement called Read Woke in response to the changing social and political climate. Her students, desperate for answers on police shootings of unarmed black boys and men, DACA, and the Muslim ban. It was a strange and awkward time for our school. When DACA was repealed, we had kids here in the building crying. Senior Barbara Walker remembers students walking out of school in protest. They wanted to be heard. Mrs. Lewis quickly replacing the library's Harry Potter theme with books tackling a social justice issue. What is the criteria for a book to make your list? It, it has to feature a protagonist from a disenfranchised group, give voice to the voiceless. Catherine's a gal for that. Best-selling books turned into movies like Hidden Figures. Out of the car. And The Hate You Give. That book was talking about police brutality and how an African-American girl can make a stand. Cicely the Great, as she's affectionately called, challenging her students to read four books in a row on the Read Woke bingo sheet and come in for a discussion. Nearly 60 completing it so far. So tell me your favorite Read Woke book. The Master Plan is probably the most impactful yet. She's not just empowering her school community to be social justice warriors. Read Woke is now global. Mrs. Lewis advising other librarians in the US, Canada, Norway, and the UK. And you can tell who completed the challenge by who's wearing a Read Woke pin and that blue t-shirt. It is a huge badge of honor, one uh, that these students just don't take lightly. And Mrs. Lewis has even figured out how to get the special needs students involved by reading 100 picture books to them. So everyone is involved. So she won that big award. She's also she also won the Metro Georgia Library Media Specialist of the Year Award. And she should know by next Monday if she won the Librarian of the Year oh, wow. Award for the state. Mm. She's Rooting doing big things. Yeah, very good, things. Very good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Read, man. I miss I miss libraries. I, I really know. do. I, as a kid, I, I would love to get in the library read. And this is taking it a, a little bit step further. I mean, these are impactful books that are that are going to make a difference in these kids' lives. Yeah. 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 Anytime you can uh, get kids to read, I'm all for it. Yeah. 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 They have yeah. so many questions, and she's been there to answer all of them in a fun way, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a yeah. fun and educational way. Yeah. Come Good in stuff. and talk about Good it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Exactly.